I don't know uh, drivers, I don't know what. We are, but the reason why we are negotiating new bilateral agreements is that we want to go beyond those workers at that level. We want to export skilled labor, we want to export professionals, and we are creating the ecosystem for that to happen. In fact, if I tell you now, if you go to www.neaims.go.ke, you will see that there are 400,000 jobs on that platform. Different kind of jobs from different countries. We are now trying to make sure that those jobs will not be 400,000, they will be a million, and they will, inc they will be largely, as we conclude these bilateral agreements, bilateral labor agreements, they will include many professional jobs, many skilled jobs, and I want to challenge uh, the, the young people listening to me on this uh, on this X forum that that is an opportunity. You can go to eCitizens today and check whether what I am telling you is true or not, whether those jobs exist or they don't. And I want to challenge everybody to go to that space because that is one of our strategies. In fact, I saw on uh, a Friday when there was a demonstration, one gentleman from my village was interviewed. And he said, you know, the president has not as has, has failed us because uh, there are no many jobs in Kenya. He, the problem is that we are uh, so many people are still going abroad to look for jobs. Little did that guy know from my village that I am the one who facilitated those who have gone abroad. It is part of my strategy to create opportunities. Let me finish by saying, in this year's budget, the whole trajectory was about manufacturing. You know, how would you need local jobs, my friend? You, 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 you the, the days when we just used to say, oh, we are going to grow the economy and the economy is going to create jobs, that is gone. We have to be deliberate. Housing, I know how many jobs I'm going to create in housing. Digital jobs, I know how many jobs I'm going to create. Export of labor, I know how many jobs I'm going to create. Now, what I had done in this year's budget is to put um, a mechanism where we promote our own manufacturing, local manufacturing, using local materials, hiring local uh, uh, labor and local professionals, and creating local wealth. There is absolutely no re how, there is no absolutely no way we are going to grow jobs in Kenya by making Kenya a supermarket or other countries by making Kenya an importer of everything. You can't hear you, my brother. He's done. Okay, another, another one last question. One last question before I give somebody the mic. I have, uh, I have, I'm seeing several questions coming, flowing to me. It's also mine. Uh, there's a, I meant to understand there's a bill on your table about the IBC, IBC reconstitution. I'm wondering how long should this be? Or the other question would be, was it a deliberate not to assign the bill so that when your people, the people that are guiding you, people that cannot listen to us, when you want to try to send them home? We cannot because there's no IBC commission that's in place. So what is about IBC? Because uh, personally, I come from Nyanza, so and my home MP is Atandi. But if I was coming from Nairobi or somewhere and surrounding, the MPs that really, really need to go home and the law that there is no IBC to be able to do this because Parliament, they have been Parliament arrogant. Just, playing catch -up. Parliament just that uh, passed the bill. It has found its way to my office. And I want to tell you, I will be expeditious. It will not go beyond Tuesday, and the bill will be signed and uh, gazetted so that we can proceed with the process. I am just keeping it within the law. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, thank you, Mr. President. I think we can get another. I, I'm having issues with my phone. I don't know why. I mean, if I need like you to. So let's. Yeah. 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 Y
Hi guys. Uh, can you can you hear me? Osama, can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can hear you, Mila. So, uh, mine is not. Guys have said all the things that guys would love to say. Uh, mine is, uh, Mr. President. Probably, I think I should address you as Baba Charlene. Probably, you will get where I'm coming from. And can I have your name, if you don't mind? Do you do you mind saying your name? But you, if you don't want, it's okay. My name is Mila. Mila, okay, Mila. So, uh, on the day, on the eve of the guys who are protesting to the parliament, mm. I'm a photographer and that's what I do. And the guy who was shot, he was shot right in front of me. And it's something that has been living with me in my head since that day. And it really pisses me off. Like, I'm really pissed off. Like, the, the day you, you address the nation on that Tuesday, no one was remorseful like like there was no like it's like i don't know it's just like life life doesn't matter to you guys in the government okay i'll give you that later you came and apologized but still people in your government work to tv stations it's like life don't matter and that thing it, it has been disturbing me because i saw the boy being killed even if you go back you can go check Larry Maduro videos. He traced how the boy was. He was carrying nothing. Like, literally, he was carrying nothing. I know you've spoken about this over and over, but my question is, and it's not even a question, mine is probably just go back and reflect. You are a father. You are a granddad. How would someone feel when the child is dead? I bet from where I, from where I stand, none of your government mm -hmm. officials have even visited the families or reached out to the families mm -hmm. from where I stand. Probably you guys just go back and reflect. Do we really matter as people who elected you? Like how where do we stand? Where do we stand as 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 young youths? Like the guy called Rex. He was a he was a guy basically. He was a guy who was born in two thousand and two. Now he's dead. How does the mother feel? And some of of your officials walking TV stations, go on social media, and they're like, wanna jipi ya kifua, mungu wana jipi. And that someone, someone was fucking, someone died. It's painful, Mr. President. It's really, and the, I'm talking this because I saw the boy dead. I even have the videos when the boy was shot. All I'm asking is, let's have empathy. Someone just reaching out. Huh? Hmm. 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 Hmm.